Hey, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. Thank you so much for being with me today. Um, whether you're on this video live or if you're watching a um, replay, uh, because it will be posted later for a replay, um, go ahead and post in the comments your name and your dog's name. If you have multiple dogs, you can put all their names, <laughs> um, even a picture of your dog. I would love to see them. Um, and thank you so much for being here. Hey, sweet pea. Baby, go girl. So, um, oh, okay, ready? Oh, it's a daisy, I gotcha. Kim wanted some attention. Oh, sorry about that. So, um, I'm on my phone and it just rang, so I apologize. <laughs> hey, sweet pea, I love you. Yes, I do. Um, okay, so this video today, what are we talking about? We're talking about, um, other people training your dog and um there's kind of a couple of things I want to talk about with this um because there there are a lot of board and train places um where you like drop your dog off for the day or a week or two weeks I mean sometimes even longer and they train your dog for you um, and I want to talk about this idea that a lot of people have, um, with dog training. So yes, I, you know, you do need a dog trainer to help you and teach you how to train. Um, and obviously as a force free dog trainer, I want you to find a force free dog trainer. Um, I have on an online video series that, um, is a is a membership you can join and get access to all of the videos to learn how to train your dog through positive reinforcement in a force-free manner. Um, and I encourage people to seek out um, positive methods, force-free trainers, because it is the best way to train. And you don't want to damage the... Um, bond and the relationship that you have with your dog by using force and by using fear and pain. You don't want to do that. So, um, let's get back to this, you know, idea of like a board and train situation. Um, you know, when you, when you do go to a trainer or when you do hire a trainer, you know, it's, it's natural for, you know, a trainer to come into your home or for you to go to a place, um, where, if, you know, if your dog trainer has a certain place, maybe it's a park or um, they have a facility where they teach people how to train and they, you know, they train dogs. Um, it could be, in a, you know, a park for like a group training session. And that's all fine and well. And learning from these trainers is great as long as they're force-free positive reinforcement trainers. Um, but this idea, uh, I get, you know, I, I, I get so many people contacting me and they're just like, okay, so what do I do? Just drop my dog off with you or how does this work? And it frustrates me to no end because, <clears throat> um, I see it all the time and I know people who have done this and it has really backfired on them. Um, because you can't take your dog and drop them off. First of all, I would never just drop my dog off somewhere with someone that I didn't know. Um, and even if I did know that, like, even when I do drop my dog off with people I know because, you know, I'm going on vacation or whatever may be happening, I am really, like, I check in constantly and, you know, I, they're not there to be trained. They're there because, you know, I'm on vacation and they just need to be taken care of. But the idea of dropping your dog off, especially at like one of these like board and train places where you just leave your dog for a week or two weeks is so frustrating to me because one, if you're not learning how to train your dog, you can't expect when you get your dog back that your dog is going to act and behave in the same manner because you're not acting and behaving in the manners that they have become accustomed to, to result in a changed behavior in your dog. So 
if, for instance, you have a trainer who has taught your dog not to get on the couch, but they come home to you and you're not doing those same things and you're not acting in the same way, it's a completely different environment, your dog comes back home and they're like, oh, thank goodness I'm back home and jump right on the couch because you're not doing the same things. It's not the, the your body language isn't the same. So that, I mean, that's just one example, but um, a lot of these board and train places, and I'm not going to say all of them because that's not true, but a lot of these board and train places are the kinds of places that you don't want your dog to be to begin with because they do use force and they do use fear and they do use pain. And that's one of the ways that, one of the reasons that they want you to board and train your dog to begin with because they don't want you to see what they're doing to your dog. So that's really frustrating to me. Um, I actually knew someone who put their dog in one of these boot camps and um, she at the time had no idea they were using a shock collar and he came home a broken dog and it was so incredibly sad and eventually he snapped he he was biting people it completely changed his temperament um and she had to make the very very difficult decision to put him down because he had bitten so many people and he finally bit her to the point where she had nerve damage in her arm and she was scared of him and because he had an extensive bite record the city um wanted to put him down anyway it was one of the one of the turning points in my life that made me really focus on dog behavior and learn positive reinforcement dog training and for force free dog training um, because it broke my heart to see that happen and learn what that dog had been through. Um, so if anybody out there is, uh, researching or interested in dog training, first of all, I do have, um, an online dog training course. It's video based. It teaches you how to train your dog using positive reinforcement and positive methods. Um, and a great way to start that. I'm going to fix my screen real quick. So excuse me one second. There we go. <laughs> okay. So I had to flip the screen real quick so I could show you something. Um, a great way to start anybody who is just getting a dog. If you're, um, if you have a dog and you're looking at training your dog and you're, uh, you know, researching trainers and how to train, um, whether you want to do it on your own, whether you want to hire a trainer, whether you want to do an online video based training course like I provide, this is um, a great way to start out. This is going to give you the entire foundation, everything I teach to all of my in home clients, setting them up to be able to train positively with their dogs. And it's like five bucks. I mean, you really can't go wrong with it. It's my new ebook called Seven Miracle Steps to Train Your Dog. You can get a copy here at bit.ly slash seven steps dog training. And if somebody could type that in the comments for me, I would really appreciate it. Um, being live on my phone, I can't really type into the comments. Um, so if somebody could just type that, I would really appreciate it. So literally anyone, whether you have had dogs in the past and you have gone through, you know, training sessions with those dogs because you may not have learned positive reinforcement if, if it was many years ago, whether, you know, you're just now researching getting a dog, whether you have a dog and you're, you're interested in training or you have gone through training and you're still not happy. This is going to be, um, something that is really going to set you up to win is going to set you and your dog up to win um in training and and really just in your human dog relationship it's going to set you up for a proper relationship and a mutually trusting relationship so that you can train positively with your dog bit.ly slash seven steps dog training um 
so yeah, just when you are looking at training and if you know anybody <laughs> that has a dog, please share this with them because, or that's interested in getting a dog, please share this with them. Um, if I get nothing else across to anybody in my entire life, it's that the one thing I want to get across to everyone is that you do not need to use force, pain, and fear to train your dog or to coexist with your dog. It is unnecessary. It's inhumane. There are much better ways that are going to lead to both you and your dog having a better life and a better existence. And why wouldn't you want to put more positivity in your life? Um, we all want that and we all should strive for that. So grab your copy of my book. It's a great place to start. Like I said, it's like five bucks. Um, so it's not going to break the bank and you're going to get a ton of information out of it. It's like 60 pages, really great information. Um, go ahead and grab your copy, but please don't go, don't board and train your dog. Don't send them off to some boot camp. It's not going to work and it's going to be detrimental to the relationship you and your dog have with one another. Um, and be present in any training situation. So even if you do go to a trainer in person, be there, be present, um, learn what they're doing, why they're doing it. If you encounter a dog trainer who you know, dismisses you or doesn't like that you're asking these questions, doesn't want to answer these questions for you. Um, if they're combative at all about you asking questions, run in the other direction because <clears throat> if they can't answer these questions for you, um, then do they really have your dog's best interest at heart? And isn't that what, what they should have, right? Like I don't sit down with people to help them train their dogs because I want, you know, a paycheck. <laughs> I do it because I want these dogs to live the best life possible and to teach their owners or their pet parents, whatever you prefer to be called, the best way to do that. Because I know there are millions of dogs and cats that are being surrendered to shelters in our country every single year. It breaks my heart. and. I just want to be there to help so that these dogs and cats are not put into the shelter system. Um, we have to do something about this. <laughs> and I think, you know, setting people up and setting their dogs up for success and staying in their forever home is the best way that um, I know how to do that. So that's what I'm here for. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, please post them below. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback and your questions. I'd love to be able to help answer your questions and I might even make a video to answer your question, which would be awesome because that's what I'm here for. So go ahead and post your questions in the comments below. Um, it could be about dog training, dog behavior, or it could even be about cat behavior, nutrition for your cats and dogs. I would really love, um, to help answer those questions for you. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much again for being here with me today, and I will see you in the next video.